Good morning, Pisces. How are you doing? This is a lovely Monday. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get straight into doing a reading for you guys. If you like this reading, please like it, comment, subscribe, all that business. You see all the information you need down below in the description box for um, booking personals. I'm still waking up. Booking personals and also purchasing extendeds and my Patreon. Okay. It's Pisces. How's it going today? Let's see what we have for you. Okay, they're flying out. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, nice. Okay. All right, Pisces. So, there is something here that you're wanting to work on and it, when it comes to your self-satisfaction. Okay, some of you guys have been heavily focused in your energy on working on what's going on around you and creating okay your own abundance creating things that you feel satisfy you and not other people and i like this energy however we do have king of wands in reverse okay also in your main energy some of you guys may be feeling burnt out that's what i'm getting a little bit burnt out by uh either relationships or focusing so heavily on yourself that no matter how much energy you expunge on this sort of ace of pentacles beginning maybe really working hard on your money uh there's something that is causing a little bit of an issue when it comes to either love or passion okay uh some of you guys could also be dealing with a fire sign here aries leo sagittarius with the king of wands in reverse could be somebody that uh is not putting their passion forward towards you or has some kind of issue, okay? So let's go ahead and start pulling some clarity for you guys. Why the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces? Why the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces here? Whenever I see that King of Wands in reverse, I always just imagine someone's energy is, you know, they're just prideful unable to get out of a specific jam yeah we've got nine of pentacles in reverse here pisces it's like i said no matter how much you focus uh within on yourself here okay there's something that you're not satisfied satisfied with either within yourself or within a situation with a person okay and that dissatisfaction it can come from various sources it could come from not feeling loved it can come from working so freaking hard on something that you're just like well i don't have the time to focus on myself i don't have the time to spend okay so if you guys have been working way too hard on your money ah uh, here we are hierophant okay this is what's happening so there's possible earth sign here with Taurus that you want a commitment with, but something isn't happening, okay, with the chariot here. I think that some of you guys have been escaping here with the king of wands and the knight of pentacles. You've been kind of just escaping into your work and not allowing yourself the space you need to really, ooh, yes, I just heard this. There was someone that you wanted a commitment with. And um, you escaped into work to forget the fact that they maybe weren't moving forward towards you. There was something about this connection that I'm picking up on right now at Pisces where it's like you were more committed than the other person was. And when you saw this, like you came to this realization, instead of processing it, you buried yourself into whatever your work was or into your own wants and needs and desires right okay let's pull some more and when that happens so it, it can happen it, it just it just does we kind of we want to forget we don't want to remember we don't want to think about it we don't want to you know imagine just maybe this person was not ready for commitment tell me about the uh 
Hierophant here. Okay, so some of you guys weren't really trusting your intuition. This is your card here, Pisces. Okay, High Priestess in Reverse. You, you, there may have been secrets. There may have been something about the relationship that, uh, you know, really sucked. And this person, they may have been cold towards you with the King of Swords in Reverse or you them. You may have blocked them uh, or you were blocking out your intuition about this situation because we have the Nine of Swords here. Okay, too much pain, too much worry. I also get the vibe that the person you're dealing with this was them as well. They may have been in a state of anxiety about something in their life. And when that happens, uh, it's never good. Okay, when I see the King of Swords in this energy. Uh, also, air sign here. Some of you guys could have been dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini. Um, but uh, despite that. There was just too much uh, anxiety, too much fear about what was going to happen in this connection. So it, it became easier for you. It became easier for you to escape it by just burying yourself in work. I've done that. Okay. I've done that. So tell me about the King of Swords, please. Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah. <sighs> somebody wasn't taking this seriously okay they weren't taking the relationship seriously someone was offering and it was being ignored okay by your king of swords here some of you guys i just heard that that this person is still ignoring your offer still <laughs> still ignoring the love that you have for them okay but pisces trust your intuition there could be things here you don't know going on in this person's life. And I think that maybe there's a reason, right? Whenever I see this card, there's usually a reason why the person is not on the same page. And I always tell people this when I do readings. If like a door isn't opening for you, there's usually a pretty damn good reason that that door isn't opening. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and pull on the King of Swords. Tell me about the King of Swords in reverse, please. All right, so this is what's up. Five of Swords, okay? This person was combative. They were combative with you. They were, they may have, you know, had, ugh, definitely could have been dealing with an air sign, okay? This person liked to win, okay? You guys may have fought. Some of you guys I'm hearing you fought online. That's weird, okay? You guys may have fought a lot and you fought for this connection. And instead, this person went cold on you. They may have even been aggressive towards you. And so that made it even, that made it even easier for you to escape into your work. But this has caused burnout. Maybe some of you guys didn't speak up when you needed to about how this person was acting. You may have walked away yourself from the situation, Pisces. Three of Cups. Queen of Swords. Wow. So this was a match here. We've got you here blocking this out and instead going maybe towards other people okay going towards others that would make you feel better you know that what's what's the point what's the point they may have also blocked out a reunion with you if this was a person that you were you were hoping to get back with and then we have for your challenge here on the bottom of the deck the star card okay some of you guys were definitely dealing with an aquarius um if not it was we got all we got all the signs here. We have fire signs, we've got some earth, we have water. Okay. Any of the signs really. Alright, but uh Yeah. Your challenge here with the star card, okay, is to take the time to actually 
address what needs to be healed after this connection, while this connection, uh, I, I just feel a very cold energy between you and them. And it's almost like until someone steps forward and tries to heal this connection, it's going to get more and more disconnected with the King of Swords and Queen of Swords in the reverse, which puts you in this energy of the star. Basically healing on your own and growing and going places on your own, Pisces. Because I feel this situation is, you're turning to possibly other people or they are here with the Three of Cups. Right, tell me about the Three of Cups, please. Yeah, judgment. Look at this. Okay, something is happening here. All right, this person may be going through something or you may. And uh, I, I just feel like you know at the end of the day, Pisces, you know at the end of the day what you've got to do. I just feel you already kind of know. But you had ignored your intuition about this person. And I think it, it made it easier for you to just kind of escape into work. But this person is cold. Their energy is cold. So you had to make a call. They may have made a call too. I get the feeling you walked away from this situation or they did and it was just not, it wasn't healthy. You, you know, um, I keep seeing what kind of building is that? Is that a library? I'm seeing some kind of public like building. It looks like a library or a museum or something like that that I keep seeing. It just keeps popping up in my head. Courthouse? I don't know. But uh, you guys definitely got to get back in your element here with the High Priestess in reverse. Start accessing your intuition again. This person, th there was a lot of anxiety and fear. Okay, and things may have been more dramatic than they had to have been. <laughs> So, all right, let's pull you guys some Oracle cards. And then if you want to join me for the extended, you can do that down below. Okay, let's get some advice for Pisces in this situation. Okay, you and your loved ones are safe. So, so some of you guys have actually kind of gone into defense mode. Okay, <laughs> when I say that, I think of that anime what is it called um with the cards <laughs> uh you Yu oh that's it you i think that's what it's called Yu Gi oh you guys are you're but you're buckling down okay from this situation don't let pride get in your way this person may have been prideful or you were in the relationship for flipping that energy, there could have been just too much ego. I, I'm getting a lot of ego going on in this situation. What do you need to release? Okay. Guys, let it, let things go if they hurt, right? Because I am getting a lot of hurt here. I really am. One more Oracle card. Okay. Amplify your positive emotions. Okay, this is all about your space. Like, uh, I, like I said, I'm feeling a really cold kind of energy. And so when you escaped into work, it helped you to forget the negativity for those of you who did this. And um, you just like heavily became focused on items, on things. And uh, you may have been mirroring this person. Okay, when I see these little like ripples here, Pisces, okay? Pisces is a very magnetic sign. You guys may have also very good at mirroring. You may have mirrored this person's habits and, and took them on as your own. That can happen. I've done that. I've been stuck in illusion. So get out of the illusion. Like see yourself in the water, understand the, the ripple effect that a person actually does have on our life, especially for a Pisces. A person can have a huge effect on us if they were creating any kind of illusions or cold manipulations around us, right? 
Okay, so if you like this reading, feel free to follow me for the extended down below. And uh, you can purchase it one time or you can join my Patreon, yay, for $6 a month. And you get access to every one of my extendeds there that I post. Okay, I'll see you guys there. Bye.